All right, guys, we are back for episode 19 of the podcast. Um, MMA diagnosis. So, yeah, so some big news came out uh, yesterday. Well, on Sunday, Ariel, Mr. Ariel Hawani, but a fake troll account. Uh, Helvani. Helvani, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it fooled me a lot. Um, so, he posted a Twitter about the UFC fight. Um, the location was confirmed and the fight was confirmed, right? Khabib and yeah. Tony. <laughs> and then it was a troll account I didn't know about it and then um, all you see is Dana straight away replies in he goes no you're gonna get the details on Monday and <laughs> <laughs> we've got the fight ready it's not Tony I mean it's not Khabib the fight yeah, on the card it's gonna uh, we're gonna answer on Monday stop posting your um, false news so yeah that, that guy no, that guy is troll level million man. like yeah, he fooled a lot of people yeah when you read the comments a lot of people are fooled but I posted it as well. I was like, oh, Aaron Hawani, Aaron Hawani trolled him. And then my mate told me, yeah. oh, now it is a fake account, Aaron Hawani. <laughs> and I was like, oh, damn it. Yeah, let's go to the Monday thingy Twitter though, yeah. Mm. All right, you got the Twitter? For Aaron Hawani? No, Dana White, man. Oh, Dana so White. So basically, Dana White yeah, on his Twitter. Where is it, man? Great, I just had it. Just. All right. So basically, Dana White is confirmed that the UFC card is happening. So it's Tony versus Gaethje. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, he posted and, uh, on uh, evening for is... us is Monday evening when he posted it. Yeah. So it basically goes that the um, Ferguson versus Gaethje is happening on April eighteenth. And he posts like he's got a picture with it, right? With the uh, Tony signing yeah, around yeah, his phone yeah. and stuff. So, um, what do you think of that fight though? That's happening. But well, it's confirmed now. So by the big balls. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good fight. I don't. I don't. I, I saw people online complaining a bit, like, "Oh shit, it's like not a good card." I'm like, it's actually a pretty good card if you look at it. It's quite stacked. Yeah. So if I just read down the card, and we're gonna show the card. On the screen, so um, obviously you got Ferguson Gaethje main event interim yeah. lightweight title for the second time for Ferguson. Yeah. So he's gonna be two time interim lightweight champion. Two time. <laughs> and then you got uh, Jessica Andrade versus Rose Number Unis two. Yeah, that's then, supposed to happen. Yeah. yeah. Then you got Greg Hardy versus De Castro. Um, and then you got Vince uh, Vincent Vicente Luque versus Nico Price. That should be a good fight because yeah. Vicente was in a big, big brawl with Mike Perry as well. Yeah, that so, was, that was, that's going to be a fun fight. And then you've got uh, Jeremy Stevens versus uh, Calvin Cater. Yeah. And Francis Ngannou versus Rosenstruck. Rosenstruck, yeah. So, Rosenstruck. heavyweight fight. That's a good... It's actually uh, looking at to be a decent card now. Like, yeah, so. and they also got uh, Uriah Hall versus Jockey. Oh, no. Ronaldo so, it's actually a pretty Sousa. good card. It's, it's not a... Uh, bad card if you look at it. Uh, I think they find a new opponent for Hernandez because Islam, uh, Islam not yeah, he's it. not on the card. So, for my Dagestani brothers, unfortunately, yeah, he's yeah. not on the card. Uh, shall I read the rest of the card or yeah, let's read it because okay, so we've got Vera versus Borg, so yeah. uh, and then you've got uh, Johnson fair. versus Worthy. Is that Michael Johnson? That's what I'm thinking. Is it live? I can't even tell. It's, it doesn't show like... Um, let me just double check. Yeah, but carry on just reading it, man. Because uh, then we need to know the card. Right? Let's kind of finish it Yeah, off. so um, Johnson versus Worthy. Yeah. And you got Eubanks versus Morass. Morass? No, Morass. It's Woman's. Oh, okay. Sarah Morass versus... Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 I thought you were wrong. <laughs> Morass. Uh, oh, Sejara Eubanks, isn't it? Yeah, Sejara Eubanks. I was saying Chris mm-hmm. Eubanks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chris Eubanks Jr. And then you got Ryan Spann versus Sam Alvey. Yeah. Sam Alvey, lightweight, man. Uh, yeah, but well, he was in light heavyweight, yeah. Light heavyweight. No, he was in middleweight. And then no, that's Spann, what I mean. Yeah, he's he's light to light heavyweight. Yeah, so that's going to be a good fight. I think uh, overall this car is not bad, but paying $65, $70 for Americans. Because remember, the pay-per-view numbers always yeah, are... Yeah, I think the card's good, though. So I don't know. No, I mean, it's always based on American, right? And right now... Yeah. You know, due to the current situation that a lot of people are losing their jobs and stuff like that. Uh, well, I don't know if you can afford... Like, do you think it'll be the biggest pay-per-view? They'll now? pay for it. I think they would pay for it. 
I no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about it's no, it's not going to be nowhere near what Khabib and Tony would have done. Well, of course, but yeah. you, but think about it. How many people watch WrestleMania? Even you watch WrestleMania? Yeah, but you know what I mean. But like, uh, right, with no audience. Yeah. So no, that's what I mean. I think WrestleMania is not gonna. Uh, I don't think the viewership on that would be would have been good. To be honest. To be fair, because you know, without audience, I watched it without audience. It was I don't know, man. That, only I enjoyed only a few of the fights, and there was loads of fights. It was like three matches. hours each day. It was for two days. Saturday and the Sunday. matches, yeah. Not yeah, yeah. Well, right now, no offense, even yeah. WWE is real now, all right. <laughs> yeah. But uh, a few of the matches, yeah, um, they were really good. But most of the actual, like, uh, WrestleMania, without um, without fans there, it's just, like, dead. Yeah, yeah, you, you need the audience reaction. But what do you think, though? Um, do you think the card overall is worth pay-per-view? Because some people think it's not. Yeah, it's worth the money. It's just that with no audience, you're not going to feel the same. Like, you know what I don't get? Why are people complaining? They wanted a replacement. Yeah. He kept to his word and found a replacement. So. But I rate him for that though. Because he kept to his word, he found a replacement. And then like, it's actually going to happen now. Most likely it will happen. Obviously, it's still 12 days left to go yet. So, there's no guarantee. Yeah, a lot can happen in 12 days. Uh, let, let's, let's, let's just elaborate a bit more. Do you think it's worth it for... Ferguson to take the fight. They might pay him well. So, if they're going to pay him well, then he'll take the fight. Well, obviously, he's been training anyway. Yeah. But I don't it, know, about Justin Gaethje okay, been let's training. Ju- okay, let's just say hypothetically he loses now. Does that eradicate all his victories now? Does that like... he? Do you think he'll ever get a Khabib fight if he loses this fight? Because he's already he, 37. Yeah, I think if he loses and then he's going to get delayed at least a year before he, he has to win his next I fight. Think it's gonna be, I think yeah. he's going to... If he loses, I think he's just going to keep on losing <laughs> from that point. Because he loses that kind of aura then. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, the trial fight win streak and... Uh, no, but he obviously he won't lose the belief in himself. So that's different. I'm just saying hypothetical. To be honest... We're gonna go into that into the next episode about how the fight's gonna. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna break down the fight in later episode. Yeah, because obviously the no. fights are gonna be next week, like uh, not this week, but next Saturday. So in like about ten days. Yeah. 10 so days. like um, we're gonna. We're just gonna skim it through right now, but um, I think most like for me, I'll go in favor with Tony. Alright, we'll get more into that. Yeah. Uh, Next episode. So let's uh, just break down how we led, led up to this all. So okay, yeah. So you know Dana, he's actually I watched his um, his TMC Sports. They done a small interview, like a couple yeah, of yeah. interview. So he's saying that he's actually procured a well, he's going to procure an island for the fight to happen. Mad. Yeah, that is crazy. I don't know where this island is exactly. Uh, must be near America. The guy who owns it must be like yeah. some billion. <laughs> yeah, so or it could be like you know. No, he was, he's get, the guy. He goes. The guy has a private island. Yeah. So whoever the guy is must oh, be yeah. super rich. So basically, I don't know if they rent. They're buying it, right? That's what he goes. Not renting out. They're buying it. They're buying it. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, it didn't say buy actually. They say going to. Get I think it. he might. They might rent it. I don't think. Yeah. It. So basically, he goes. They're gonna put fights on every week. Every week the fights will happen now. I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to be on the island. But he's going to get... He's going to try to get all the international fighters to fight in Europe. Or maybe my fly them Oh, on the he goes to the private island, I'm sure. Yeah, private island. But I'm not sure if he's going to fly all the international fighters every, like, you know, time there's an yeah, international... Yeah, yeah, but... Because, obviously, international fighters, to get them on one card, it's going to be hard. So... I don't know. So like, that yeah, yeah, basically yeah. he bought the private island now. He's uh well he hasn't bought it but whatever. Yeah. So in terms of safety I think they're going to have to like, you know, keep everybody at distance and stuff like that. They have to get extra personnel though. Monitoring. How are they gonna get all the doctors and I don't know. They are you see rich enough anyway. So they got like the money. Tricky, to be honest with you. Uh, they got the money though, so uh everybody's going well online everybody's like, you know, Giving you the thumbs up now, Dana. He's the okay. savior. So what? What Dana White said. Yeah. So if I just read it. Yeah. So he told TMZ right uh, on Monday, I locked this venue 
that will host UFC 249 for two months. And then he goes, I have this venue for two months and we're setting up shop here. We're going to be pumping out fights every week. I'm also a day or two away from secu securing a private island. I have a private island that I've secured. We're getting the infrastructure put in now. So I'm going to start doing the international fights too with the international fighters. So I'm guessing... Um, so what venue is he talking about? So That's the, separate. Yeah. So do you think it's the PI? Performance Institute. You see. The, the one yeah. where they do the contender series. Yeah. So it known, might be bro. there then. So that, that, that's what I'm guessing. If he's saying we've got, you know, we're going to host fights every week there. I'm guessing he means American fighters. And then no, the international fighters island. are going to be going on a private island to fight. Yeah. I think that's the only way. So uh, he goes again the infrastructure ready for that. Yeah. So uh, and then he goes at uh, UFC 249 is going to be on ESPN. Yeah. So is it uh, obviously BT here? Yeah. yeah, it should be BT Sport for all the. I think we're gonna UK have to pay. Fans. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we will. If it was Tony Khabib, we might have. But I still think they're gonna make us pay. What and Tony Khabib? Usually needs the money. No, we, are, well, we haven't heard good. nothing about that yet. So. I'd be surprised if they give it for free. Well, they don't give it for free though, because you pay twenty pound a month for BT Sport. So it's not. Oh, yeah, for free. technically, yeah, but we're paying for all sports, right? Yeah, but. Obviously, they got agreement with the BT Sport, so mm. it's not for free. They're making money. Yeah, so if I just carry on with what I said, he goes, everyone is going to be tested and tested and tested. And then he goes, we're going to make sure healthy athletes, healthy athletic commission people, healthy judges, referees, my production people, and everyone there is going to be healthy. We're going, yeah, to, make sure, Lana, we're going to make sure everybody is going to be safe before, during, and after the fights. Yeah. So uh, he's just saying healthy, healthy. Everyone's gonna be healthy, really. That's <laughs> you know, to break it out to everyone. That's all he's saying. Uh, so and then he just said it's not Khabib's fault. It's not anybody's fault. Yeah, that's true, though. Yeah, it's yeah. not something you can prepare for, plan, or anybody can dream this is possible. Las Vegas, is, he goes. Las Vegas is shut down, and no casinos are open for a month or maybe more. I never thought I would see that in my lifetime. Yeah. Like no casinos in Las Vegas. So. That's what I mean. So when Habib said is like. You know, f he was saying like family is important, and he got told to go here, and this like he was just following orders, yeah, or something like that. Um, even Dana just said, you know, like he couldn't control, like you can't blame him for what's happened. And everything. Yeah. Nobody's to blame. Even Dana said that in the interview. Yeah. So with Brett Brett Moore, he did a twenty minute interview about this stuff. Yeah, I guess we'll see. It's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good scrap though. The main event. I don't know why people are complaining. I think it's, it's. I'm glad we got that at least. I just want to make that comparison though. So the only two, well, sports or what, if you want to call it sports, will be basically right now will be occurring on WWE, and with its WrestleMania and its regular SmackDown Raw and UFC. Like Dana even said, I don't know why. Like everybody else, like he goes, it's only me and Vince that are doing this. Like, we're trying to be the leader. Yeah. So, like, other sports should try to find a way to get this done. Like, to get their sports up on exactly. running. Uh, which is a kind of admirable as well. But in the current situation, maybe some of the, like, NHL or NFL and stuff. The football players don't want to do it. You can't mm. force people as well. So you don't know what's going on. And to be honest, like, a lot of them still might be getting paid. I don't know if they got, yeah. you know, if they're told to get their wage cut or something like that. Because, like, in England now... What's happening? They want footballers to get a wage cut as well. But you shouldn't just like. Everybody should be wage cut, then. It shouldn't just be like, oh, the Premier League stars. It's not fair on them. You know what I mean? They, they didn't they, close they, it. Get, they get enough money, though. No, yeah, but then you can say with all the other billionaires, why shouldn't they get a wage cut? Yeah, then? yeah. What, when yeah, you say wage cut, do you mean working class as well? Working, we already got wage cut. As in that you're not getting like a lot of people either lost their jobs or you're getting 80% of your mm. what you would have got. Yeah, I don't understand. It and self employed is even worse because. I don't care. Like, to be honest, I don't feel bad if footballers get wage cut because they make enough money anyway. So. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not, so it's not sports, a big deal for yeah. them to get a little wage cut. They shouldn't be really crying because they're not exactly playing, are they? Now, so, I heard like Juventus. Uh, uh, football club they're not getting paid for like four months the football players so they make enough money though no what? I'm just reporting man are you crazy like, yeah yeah, yeah. I'm just saying but that it doesn't so, make no kids like, no I'm just saying like the issue is like people shouldn't just say oh you should like 
you know, point what, focus on one type of thingy people own it. Like sports players. Of course. So don't focus on thingy. So, but that's what I'm saying. NFL, NHL, America, maybe they're getting, uh, they don't want to play though. Like, that's, I'm not sure if they do want to play, but right uh, now, just WWE and UFC are doing, like, they're leading, obviously, in it. So, yeah, but that, everyone else is going to follow suit, anyways. It's not going to. I doubt that. I just don't see it happening. But I think they're different. Like obviously, WWE is wrestling. Like wrestling, they can do stuff like that. Fight, you fight, can't get a whole you know, you know, football you know team. You know it is fighting sports is one on one. Yeah. So it's athlete with it, like basically. Do you know what I mean? It's not like eleven people on one yeah, side, eleven yeah. people on one side, or whatever in any other sport, right? So it's not as there's not there's less complications. Yeah, yeah that's what I think as well. It's like team sports is much harder to get like. Um, yeah, because if one guy for has, safety, yeah. if one guy has corona, the whole team's gonna be getting in then. Yeah, soon in one go. Yeah. So like, but in UFC, if they separate everyone, it's very unlikely. They should get them tested before the fight, though. Yeah, that's another issue. Like even after the fight, he yeah. said like uh, Akimoto asked Dana about testing. Yeah. And then Dana like didn't exactly give a proper answer. He goes, "Yeah, don't worry, the health is important. Safety will be taken into account." So we don't know what testing. But he goes that he's not going to reveal stuff to the media yeah. anymore because he goes they're not going to reveal location because he said there might be creeps trying to find out we like you know come to it and that there'll be no yeah. fans. There's no fans, obviously. Yeah, of course there'll be no fans. So, so but he goes he don't want to reveal the location because there's creeps might come to the yeah. island or whatever it is. Some <laughs> weirdos. Uh, this day and age. Do you want to go on the next story? Let's go on the story. Shall we talk about this? Uh, I think it's born Anthony Smith's story. You, okay, you know yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, for people that don't know, Anthony Smith is um, basically a top UFC like, heavyweight fighter. Um, and um, You want me to read it? What happened? So basically, yeah. he went on uh, Ariel Hawani's show on Sunday evening, I think. But So what happened on the... It happened on Sunday morning, right? He had a home invasion, basically. So Sunday morning, he goes that his wife heard a stranger uh, in his Omaha home. So he got into a life and death struggle. That's why I'm just reading off. Um, apparently a man named Luke Haberman. He had a five minute brawl with him. Honey, for five minutes. Well, before five the police came. Five minutes. Yeah. He goes, I'm not lying. He goes, I said, it was, uh, I said it was one of the toughest fights I've had in my whole life. I went into that fight ready to die. So nobody smart breaks into a house in the middle of the night. Especially unarmed. the UFC fight. He was unarmed. The guy didn't have nothing on him. So he goes, uh, he goes, no norm, normal human is able to fight like that. I'm by no means the baddest dude on planet. But he's a regular Joe and I had a hard time dealing with him. He took everything I gave him. So every Fitting punch, up. knee, every elbow, he took everything. Think about this guy. This guy fighting. is knocked out. Rashad Evans, Shogun Hua. Yeah, he's big knocked fighters. out loads of guys. Yeah, he's fought big fighters as well. And he's so, knocked them out, like beating them up. I mean, he fought John Jones five minute, five rounds. Exactly. Well. And he was, but that guy must have been on something though, like some meth or he must have taken something for him to take that beating. Yeah, especially from some. I or think, he must just. Yeah, be Looney Tunes or something. But yeah. I don't know. But I think like maybe Anthony Smith was shocked. Like, I think I think he was shocked when the guy got back up. Yeah, that's what I would, I'm thinking. Like, if I was a fighter and I was like him, I would be as well. No, but maybe it's like as well because yeah. No, because think about it, it's yeah. way different than um, any other situation because you're you're in a life like you said a life and death no. situation. No, do you understand? Like it's like now if I woke up four a.m. in the morning, out of nowhere, and then like you hear somebody in your house like screaming or whatever calling you. Yeah. And then you find someone like. I don't know. We, it doesn't discuss how big the guy was and stuff like that. He must but, have been. He must have been a pretty big dude. Yeah, but like now, if I woke up and you bu- you be buzzed as well, and you know when you wake up, generally you're not exactly straight away like you know alert. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Though. So and then you come. Let's say you come down and then you find him downstairs in the dark, like lights are off and that. But that's scary, man. You, I don't care. Even if you train like five, ten years, it's like yeah, it's a scary you don't know. situation. If it's, especially if you yeah. never been in that situation before so uh yeah I, th- that was a surprising the when he said he was scared makes you think yeah. right like freaking 
So if that if that's something, if that, what would you do? Pissy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would do. But I think you'd be half scared, definitely, but half, like, well, fight have, or flight. You'd have to fight, though, in that situation. Like, there's no other choice. Yeah, it'd be fight or flight. We never know. Some people freeze up. So you don't know until you actually get... Because you're scared. Why about if the guy has a weapon you can't see? It's dark. Yeah, I don't think I would freeze up, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I would. But <laughs> <laughs> no, you might know. a bit, like, as in the sense that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You assess, I, obviously. You're not just going to run straight towards him. That's what I'm saying. And oh. It's like... You'd be thinking, shit, what has he got on him? You know, is he hiding anything or... I swear, I'll be honest, if you got a knife behind your back and you can't see and you just go... Yeah, for, yeah you're screwed. So I wouldn't screwed. do that straight away. I'd be like, if he's barehanded, maybe then I'll, you know... But I wouldn't fight him just like that. I'm stupid, that's stupid, and You wouldn't just go straight up to the guy and start fighting him like that. But uh, for me, I think that's scary, man. Yeah, especially when you're a top fighter... UFC fighters or so you gotta be elite elite level fighters never like that but I guess anyone would be especially the guys coming well, I think anybody like you said anybody would do like you f- you fight and you're willing to die in that situation I think anybody would do it cause they're in your home trying to like first of all why do you break in someone's home like that in the middle of the night must be off the yeah night. you must be off the rocket and on meth or something uh, for me I think everybody else like Fight and flight. So, you're gonna fight the guy till, till death, on it really. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a traumatic, I think, experience. In his interview, he had a. I just watched a bit of the clip of his interview the Ariel Hawani, um, Anthony Smith. His voice was like thingy, like crackling kind of. You know when you lose your voice, kind yeah. of. Yeah. No, maybe it must have been screaming, <laughs> <laughs> screaming matches though. But. I don't know. Uh, let's go on to any other news yeah we had we talked about the fights and any other news you got for any anyway? other news yeah. um, not really you know I don't see um, I don't think uh, I don't think um, Khan is fighting now yeah because all the you know everybody's saying oh, oh my god, god Khan is going to fight Tony yeah okay that happened yeah, yeah. That, uh, yeah. that was a bad April Fool joke but we got the fight card now. I think everyone's, you know, happy to, you know, at least see some, there's some fights going to happen. Yeah. I don't like, like I was trying to say before, I forgot. So basically, like I said, you know, about viewership, just because there's something on, yeah, yeah doesn't mean it's going to get a lot of views as well. Mm. So like, you know, like the WWE WrestleMania. Yeah. Just because it did come on, because of this coronavirus, everybody's like stressed out, stuck, you know. Doesn't mean everybody's going to watch WWE, I mean WrestleMania. You get it? Mm. It might have done worse than last year because obviously like, with how no audience, there's no like flavor to it. There's no like, you know, uh, that rush, you know, feeling of rush you get when you hear the audience. You you know, so I think that's, personally for me, I think that's the same thing that's going to happen for 249 card. It's like, it's a good card. No, yeah, even when the knockouts happen, you can be like, yeah, but like, because there's no crowd reaction and a big, like, maybe they can fake it or something and put some speakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but it's not going to be the same. Like, without audience, it's that's the sports is basically without your spectators, you got nothing, like, in the sense of like that, yeah, in the sense of like the reaction. Like, we, we've had a little taste of it with the Kevin Lee versus uh, Charles Oliveira. Yeah, it was. it was a bit weird. Like not used to it, especially when uh, after Bisping goes, let us know what you think to the crowd. Yeah, and then he, I think he realized there's no <laughs> crowd. <laughs> so if you look at it like that, then it's a bit of a uh, freaking. It's a bit of a weird one. You're not gonna. See, we've never seen anything like that unless we're talking about the underground days or something. Oh yeah, when when, was, you know when it was illegal maybe. Oh, no. It's quite, it's quite, um, like I said, it's quite an interesting situation. Like, you're not gonna get this ever. Like, look at Dana White saying casinos are closing, and so. Yeah, but I think, like, we will enjoy it. We may do a, what's it called? A basically, like, a live stream. We're thinking about it. I think we should. Yeah, so, we if you do guys it. do want to watch, um, with us with yeah. us we're gonna try to get it done 
We don't know if it's going to happen yet. Um, I have to buy a few pieces of, you know, <laughs> peripherals and trying to connect my camera to the yeah. computer. We're going to add a lot of things to the channel. So, like, make sure you're thing. I'm going to do a highlight of a fighter as well, UFC fighter. So, we're going to do a lot of things. Mainly for- uh, we hope you enjoyed the podcast. Bit short yeah. today. I think it's alright. Good time. But if you want to watch more, you know, videos, just subscribe, like and comment to our channel, YouTube channel. Yeah, make sure you also press the bell notification so you get a notification of our... And also follow us on uh, our social media. So basically Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, and uh, we've also got the audio platforms. So SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes. But in general, I think like we want to build our subscribership so we get like mm-hmm. more um, yeah. different uh, things on our channel. So think- like you said, the live streams, maybe do other stuff. But how? So, what do you think? Yeah, I think I think we should um, expand. Uh, expand, know. yeah. So, we, um, obviously, like the more everyone supports us, the more better the yeah, even so the podcast will be. Like, we might get a studio and a lot of other things. So, if you like, I said if you if enjoy, you, it. yeah, if you're enjoying the podcast, just subscribe. Yeah, and um, we just want to keep on doing our episodes like we are now. Maybe like we do, like we added clips to our channel as well. You know, yeah. sports clips, you know, uh, boxes as well. So we want to do other news like boxing. I mean, I enjoy boxing a bit. I just watch main events, but you watch obviously more than me. Yeah, so. I'm also going to do um, some kickboxing as well, like um, Glory. So ma- mainly focusing on Glory. So if, you know, if you're interested in that as well, make sure you tune into that. All right. Peace well, out. End the episode. Peace out, guys.